31st annual Honors Weekend. Celebrating the class of 2017. So welcome. And we got into Ernie and be screaming, Gazzoni, Gazzoni. We're like, what is the Gazzoni? It's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can't get down on the oh, mat. What is it? Shower, what is it? Yeah. Feet off on the side and kind of like a Peterson, but you tip the guy off, off, off balance. Yeah. So it's just a hip roll. Yeah. hip roll. We thought that was the Gazzoni. And that was a But, this is more but we never knew it because Ernie had everybody confused. Yeah. Over, yeah. So. I get that way too. <laughs> Catch it, it's done. So I, I can do it to throw him too. Because I use this. In fact, it's a lot to do with this too, making sure that it's covered. So, but, yeah, it's he's awesome. Still, it's awesome. You know, he's telling me like, he forces it. He's hand control. He would dig underneath. Yeah. It wasn't. He wasn't like he was waiting. When we were kids, we no. wait for him to reach over. Yeah. You know, he would. I force it too. I do. I do exactly what he's saying. I force it. I always. If somebody, if you cross face me, it's over. Yeah. Because if, we, if, if you reached over, if I can catch that wrist, it's over. Yeah. But I catch. I can. And do you know how many people are absolutely mesmerized that Gazzoni is here? They're, they keep coming up and going, "It's the Gazzoni. Gazzoni's over there." <laughs> Fans turns to the best ever. The name of Jefferson Morgan High School alumnus Carrie Colat is always in the mix. And we're ready for the first of our distinguished members for this year. One of the greatest wrestlers ever to grace the collegiate mat, Tony Babe Gazzoni was undefeated for seven years in high school and college, winning 108 straight matches. He became the Babe one back-to-back -back NCAA Division I championships for Waynesburg College. He was also voted outstanding wrestler in 1950, when as an unseeded wrestler. He defeated the tournament's top seed, a two-time defending national champion in the finals. Failing in the finals, Tony used hand control, back pressure, and a hip heist to get a reversal and gain the upper hand in a tight match. That patented move is forever known as the Gazzoni Special served in the Korean War and earned a Bronze Star for bravery in combat. Ladies and gentlemen, as a true legend in the wrestling history of Pennsylvania and the NCAA, Tony Babe Gazzoni is honored as a distinguished member of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. with a Gazzoni, and I, I always admired you, and they always told me how tough you were. But you beat Billy Borders, didn't you? Yeah, okay. Seven, six. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you one story about and Every week, and if you don't make weight, then you've gotta come back and wrestle Borders. So he said, I'm never coming back. <laughs> that guy became the Outland Trophy winner at, at um, his senior year, he was the Allen Trophy winner for a lineman, the outstanding lineman in the country, and he weighed 186 pounds. Just don't wrestle, guys. No <laughs> wrestling. I'm going to tell you, two of the greatest, look at this. That is absolutely the greatest. Yeah. Went to Michigan for a couple weeks. We're staying there with Uncle Babe and Aunt Jeannie. Buddy in Pittsburgh knew how to swim. I mean, you know, we lived down in the backwoods, close to West Virginia, man. Anyhow, I'm walking around the pool, and Uncle Babe looks at me and says, you know how to swim? And I said, no. He said, ah, you're going to be here a couple weeks. I'll teach you how to swim. I said, okay. Sounds good. He says, you know how to doggy paddle? I said, no. I said, he, he grabs the dog, and he throws it in the middle of the pool. And the dog's just... It's splashing around, comes over to the side, Uncle Babe looks nice. He said, did you see that? I said, yeah. He said, can you do that? I said, yeah, I think so. He grabbed me and drove me in the middle of the pool. And over there, he said, come on over here. And I come over here. And he goes, now you know how to swim. No bother me. You ain't going to cry. You're fine. I swear to God. They had what I would consider 
the St. Anastasia's Church group of ADD kids all um, in one room. We didn't have Adderall back then, but we had uh, Troy Wrestling Club. <laughs> That's what it looked like. But you know, back then you're still not going to be as good as Kazoni. Yeah. Yeah. We always say the stories. And Karen, we never knew. We just never knew who Tony Kazoni was. And this is a pleasure this weekend to meet him and for Kerry and him to get together, share some of the great stories that we've heard before. But on our first 2017 Distinguished Member recipient, escorted by his daughter, Tony Gazzoni Henderson. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Gazzoni. Thank you. 